Grace and peace be with you. Hi, my name is Mark. I'm the pastor at Sycamore Creek in Potterville, and I have a brief thought for you today. Uh, I'm continuing to read through Proverbs, and I'm on Proverbs chapter 30, verses 10 through 14, almost finished with Proverbs in my devotions. And in this section of Proverbs, we see a description of someone who is foolishly self-righteous. Now, all of us have a little bit of self-righteousness in us, and, and what's described here is someone who is pure in their own eyes and haughty in their religious arrogance and their self-confidence. Now, the person that's described in Proverbs 30, verse 12, is someone who is, well, they're confident that they're a good person, and they're quick to judge and to disagree with others, and they don't self-examine, they don't repent, uh, they hear sermons or they hear brief daily thoughts, and they immediately think that they apply to someone else. I got to tell you, at first, when I I think this uh, Proverbs 30, verse 12, as you read through Proverbs 30, it's easy to ignore. Uh, but the more that I describe this type of person, the more I see myself in this. Ouch. What about you? What's your response to Proverbs 30, verse 12? Now, there are five things I think that we can pull from this, that we can pull from this Proverbs. And the, and the five thing is to first to know that God despises self-righteousness. As much as you don't like it in others, God does not like self-righteousness either. And what we need to know is that God accepts those who humble themselves. God accepts those who humble themselves. Third, we need to not fall into the trap of self-righteousness, of not thinking of ourselves more highly than we ought Fourth, we need to check and be careful about our tendency towards self-righteousness. We all have this. It's part of who we are. And, and the last thing is that we can't do this alone. We need help in being trained away from self-righteousness, and we need to help others to move away from it as well. I want to encourage you to humble yourself today and to find God's mercy and to find God's grace for our self-righteousness, for our self-confidence, for our overestimation of ourselves. May God's grace and peace be with you.